Good morning, happy Saturday. So Saturday is part run day, but not when you've got a knee injury, is it Liz? No. Saturday is then sausage dog walking day. <laughs> so, um, but it's raining. But it's raining. And Rosie doesn't like the rain, she's got a little coat on. <laughs> so uh, I'm at Mansfield Park Run, and it's quite a flat course, um, it's quite exposed though, so it's quite windy, just getting that excuse in nice and early. Um, I feel pretty fresh, I didn't go out on the chain gang last night because of the bad weather, so I might give this a nudge and see what happens. Number one. You have to interview me now, you have to say, how was that? How was that? Yeah, it was good. Uh, it was a bit windy in places. When I set off, I was like third on the first lap, but I sort of chipped away at the two in front of me. Um, eventually, I was finished first. I know it's not a race, but I was first to finish at Park Run, so that's the first time it's ever happened to me. Uh, not finishing first, just finishing first at a run. Um, hey. <laughs> um, so yeah, really happy with that. I got 18.59, which is a PB for me. Nearly knocking on the door of my 10 year old PB, but I'll talk about that another time. Um, but part run, I'll probably knock it up to 19 minutes, you know what it's like. So I'm just gonna run home now, it's about seven miles from here, just take it there steady. And try and get out of this rain as quick as possible. So um, catch you later. Good evening. It's now Wednesday evening. Um, so I didn't get a vlog up last weekend. I've got some footage to show you shortly from the weekend. So let me try and think where we were left off. I think we left off on Saturday at Park Run. I ran uh, home after that about seven and a half miles after, after Park Run. It was all right. Still struggling with tight calves. Uh, and then Sunday we did, uh, and I say we, me and the uh, South Northampton Cycling Club, so about, there's about 25 of us out, did a sportive. Now it's not a race, it's a sportive but we pretty much bloody raced it. So I'm gonna drop some footage in now. Thanks to Dean Eason for, uh, for the footage. I didn't put a GoPro on my bike. So hopefully you'll be able to see uh, me in pain and just hear my voice over the top. So it was a hundred miles of Sportive. Um, it wasn't too hilly, but it was, well, it was five and a half thousand feet of climbing. So there's a fair few lumps in it. It wasn't a particularly fast route. There's lots of single lane, lots of tight turns, all that sort of thing. But um, we sort of let all the masses go let them about 10 or 15 minutes head start and then cracked on. Uh, reason being, although it's not a race, there was a prize for the um, 10 fastest from, from a club uh, would win some sort of prize. So we had that in mind. Um, so we let them all go and then we cracked on. There's about 15 of us at the beginning. It was hard. It was really bloody hard. Um, so uh, you guys know I like to share stats with you. So I was two hours in uh, and I flicked onto my normalised power and it was like 302 watts or something. So. Um, I was pretty, pretty keen. Um, we ended up doing it. Now I got dropped about 14 miles from the finish. My DI2 battery did die, but that ain't the reason I got dropped. I got dropped first and then it died. Um, I was just absolutely knackered. Uh, but I only lost about five or six minutes to the main group. Uh, and we did it in four hours, had it four hours 43, I think, or something like that. Average 21.3 miles an hour over 100 miles. It was ridiculous on a road bike, just with box section wheels on. But um, as you can see, we had all sorts of weather, uh, all sorts of terrain, gravel, wind, rain. It was a really, really good training day. We didn't stop at any feed stations or anything, so I practiced, you know, just eating my own nutrition. It was made up mainly of jelly beans and a couple of cliff bars, and that was about it. Uh, I had some carb mix in my bottles, also did it on two bottles, the whole thing. Uh, main reason being because it was quite cool so I didn't really need to take on too much fluid. So that was Sunday. Um, I didn't do any brick run or anything silly after that. It was just a case of I finished and oh my god I was in absolute agony. Uh, Monday, complete rest day. So I was feeling a bit tired anyway. Um, so um, I just took it as a, as a complete rest day. My calves again were still, still hurt a bit so I just left it. Tuesday was... wait... No, we're on Tuesday night now. Just Tuesday night. Um, I ran at lunchtime today. I did five, well, five miles. My calves are okay. They're a bit tight towards the end, but um, whatever. Just gonna see how it goes, I think. And then tonight, I've been out on. This brings me to why I'm actually here, looking like a dick with an aero helmet on and stuff. I'm on a TT bike, so 
this should have happened months ago. My bike's been at a, a shop for the last couple of weeks. It's not their fault at all. I only took them a couple of weeks ago. I uh, just had the gears index and stuff because I was faffing around with it. It couldn't quite get it exactly right. And I thought, I rely on this a lot. I'm just going to take it to a shop. Uh, so it's Newark, Newark Cycles in Newark, if anybody passes by. Uh, you know, great guys. Uh, I dropped a new cassette and chain on it as well, just for the, just for the new year. I think I'm going to change my tyres and my inner tubes as well, just because it's been sat on the bike for a year or so. I don't particularly use it very much. So I've just been out tonight testing out my new position, uh, just testing, I'm not putting fluid in the hydration thing, but just, just testing riding the bike. I'm bloody glad I have done, because I put my saddle up about a centimetre and a half, if not a bit more, it feels a lot comfier. Um, just getting used to the different front end position. My bar slipped slightly while I was riding, so I stopped from tightening, tightening those up, so it's very important, all those things, while you, while you, while you test your race kit. Uh, you guys know I like to share some stats with you, so I've just done a, a nine mile, a little bit of a warm up bit of fiddling, done a nine mile loop, and I've rode at what I think um, half Ironman power is going to be, and I've averaged just under 20 miles, uh, just under 25 miles an hour. So I mean, it's great conditions tonight. So I don't know if we're going that fast on Outlaw Day, but um, you know, we'll see. So anyway, this is where we are. I'm going to leave the vlog here, cutting it out midweek, out of the norm for me, um, because I'm having an easy few days I, I, um, leading up to the weekend because I'm going to Mallorca on Saturday. Uh, so not just easy just because of the training, but easy because I need to sort my bike out and uh, pack and all that sort of stuff. So, go to Mallorca on Saturday. If there's anything you guys want to see in particular in Mallorca, please let me know. If anybody's got any recommendations, where to go, where to eat, where to ride. Um, I know a fair bit about the island riding-wise. I've, I've been a couple of times before. I'm very lucky to do so. Um, but, you know, always open to, to new rides. That'd be great. There's about uh, 20 of us going. So, um, we're doing various different rides. Yes, of course, I'm going to give Sakalobra an absolute welly. Um, and see how that goes. I've got my time to beat from last year, as you always do, so um, I'll, I'll see how that goes. So, if anybody's got any questions or any tips, um, anything you want to see, please let me know. I'm going to try and get a fair bit of content out next week, um, as well as giving it my all and have, hopefully having the best training week I've had all year um, is the plan. But um, as you know, got to try and keep injury free. So, thank you very much for watching. Um, I hope that my next video is from warmer climbs, and I'll see you soon. Thanks very much.